Fuzzy Panda. A name I've never heard of, but I'm sure you're watching this video. So Fuzzy Panda just released an entire short thesis on Warcourse, which is completely fine. Everybody can do that. I will read through it in more detail. But the reason I'm making this very quick video is because I and a lot of other YouTubers were mentioned in it. And so I don't even want to speak about the article yet. I most certainly will do, don't worry, but I want to give it the time it deserves. I want to give it the respect. I want to read through it properly. But essentially, a lot of us YouTubers, myself included, a lot of big names you guys will recognize, are being accused. We're being accused of being paid by Workhorse and Lorestown Motors in my case for promoting their company. Now I can say with 100% certainty I have not received a single cent from anybody at Workhorse or Lordstown Motors. That is the very first thing I want to make extraordinarily clear. So throwing out these kind of acquisitions is also in my opinion quite serious. Now I'm fine with it, it's to be expected, it's something that I've been accused of many times on here so I want to make it extraordinarily clear. Workhorse, Lorsa Motors, or anybody from the team has never paid me a single penny for speaking about their company. Now look, I don't want to waste any time, we're going to get straight into this video. Please hit the juicy like button, drop me a comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I will address this in much more detail tomorrow, but there's just one or two things in particular I want to get out to you guys ASAP because I've already gotten about... 200 billion messages about this article. So with that being said, into the video. So right here is the piece where they're speaking about me, you can see my interviews, etc. But to understand this, we have to go up a little bit, and it starts off like this. So introducing YouTube stock promotions uncovered. So Workhorse and Lordstown Motors are the subject of one of the most aggressive stock promotion schemes we have ever witnessed. It's not a stock promotion scheme. We like speaking about these companies. I speak with the large majority of YouTubers who are going to be spoken about right here on literally a daily basis. So they say this sentence right here, we have documented more than 420 workhorse stock promotional videos with over a thousand videos since June. And you can see that I am actually the biggest one there. Jack Spencer Investing, I've done 21 videos, we have about half a million views. Your subscriber counts a little bit off, I'm closer to 45,000 now Fuzzy Panda. But anyway, that, that's fine, this is okay. R right off the bat, okay, they're not stock promotional videos. Every single video I've ever made on workhorse, I have called them high risk. I was somebody who put a price target of 5 to 8 dollars on this company if the USPS contract fell through. That is not something you would say if you were being paid to promote a stock right off the bat. Now I know, I am very bullish on this company. That is very true. It is my biggest investment. But when I see something like this, you're saying we believe this is illegal stock promotion as none of the individuals disclose their motivations or compensation behind promoting Workhorse. Because there is no compensation. I think the motivations are quite clear. We like the company. Also, a lot of people are very interested in this company right now. Now again, I'm not saying that there's not good points brought up in this article, and I will go through it all in a different video. But the fact that they say they believe this is illegal stock promotion, I mean, anybody's allowed to speak about whatever they want. There's no paid promotion going on here. So you know, all of the YouTubers' names are in here, you'll probably recognize an awful lot of them. So it goes through a few of them, okay? Examples of the 80 channels include Cake Trader. I know this guy. I spoke with him today. I speak with him most days. I'm in a chat with him. And right off the bat, a 20-year-old guy trading stocks in his mom's basement. I mean, who cares about that? And this is this becomes a repetitive theme. I mean, I'm sorry that us YouTubers aren't Wall Street analysts. I apologize if we appeal to a different audience than what you believe we should. We're not major news outlets. We are individuals making videos for entertainment purposes. And again, they're bringing up the GSA number. This is one point that I brought up numerous times I did not think it was very important. It did not mean anything in my opinion. They're not going to bring that point up. Next they bring up George Perez, a massive YouTuber. And again, it's just a little dig, a former accountant with a lisp. I mean, why do you have to bring that up? What does that have to do with Workhorse or George Perez as a person? He has a lisp, he can't help it. Julie from JT Weld, another person I speak with every single day. A girl with her wine talking about stocks. Who cares if there's a glass of wine? She's an adult. Fuzzy Panda, look at my obscene collection of whiskey. Funny thing is, adults are allowed to have alcoholic beverages and I like having a collection. I've been buying them for years and years and they slowly just add up. Why do I even have to make this video? <laughs> and that's all they had to say about Julie. They didn't really bring anything else up. Top ticker trades, I'm not sure who you are my friend. But he went through Berkshire's 10k for us and found the following. He's making a video. He wants clicks. This is YouTube. You want views. And then it comes to me. Okay, so what will management do when they find out about the stock promoters? Get live interviews, of course. Based on Workhorse and Steve Barnes' history of paying illegal stock promoters, is anyone surprised? Worst of all, Workhorse CFO Steve Schrader is clearly proud of his stock promotion. Okay, but what about the fact they met with Donald Trump? I mean, that's a stock promotion. I reached out to Workhorse. I sent them an email because I was already speaking about the company for legal 
literal months on the channel and I had questions that I as an investor wanted answered and my viewers as investors wanted answered. The CFO took 15 minutes out of his day to do an interview that was seen by tens of thousands of people. 15 minutes for that sort of reach is decent. So yeah, he shared both of his videos, there's no need for it to say promotional, with a former Irish bodybuilder. You're wrong. I'm a failed former Irish bodybuilder. No, but really I was never a bodybuilder. I am Irish, you got that, and I did go to the gym. So a CFO was kind enough to take the time out of his day to speak with somebody for free. And which other companies do you think we found actively supporting Jack's stock promotion? Steve Barnes of Lordstown Motors. Nice for him to take time out of his busy schedule of photo ops with President Trump to promote Lordstown with Jack. My interview was before he met with Donald Trump, so that sentence doesn't mean anything. You're gonna see this from more and more companies lately, especially electric vehicle related companies. You didn't bring up my interview with the president of Green Power Motors, and trust me, there are several more looking for videos, because it's a powerful platform. YouTube is, in its simplest form, a platform for advertising. No matter what videos you're watching on YouTube, there are ads attached. Now the next line, we suspect but cannot currently prove that these promotions are being paid for by Workhorse and Lordstown Motors. I mean, you could have emailed me. I'd have no problem having a discussion with you guys. I would have got on a call with you guys or just emailed you. If you are going to put me in this kind of light, I will make it extremely clear one more time. I have never been compensated in any way, shape or form for doing a video or an interview with any of these people. On YouTube, if you do a sponsored video, you have to declare it. It really is that simple. Now look, there is so much more to this article and I want to read through the whole thing and I want to give it a good chance. And I'm aware of a lot of what the Bears arguments are. And I'm sure if they actually watch my workhorse videos, I've put forth a lot of those arguments in the past. But I just want to say that if I'm not getting paid for it, I imagine that nobody else is, because I have gotten more views overall than anybody else in regards to workhorse related content, so I don't see why they would be going to other channels to do so. Now, that is all I wanted to say in today's video. It was a very short update. Oh again, I haven't read the full article, I will read it word for word, and why not? I may end up reaching back out to workhorse. I might be able to get their thoughts on a lot of the matters that are brought up, because that's what people on YouTube like to see. They like answers, and that's what I have tried to do in these interviews is get answers for investors. But anyway guys, that was just a very quick update on this article because, I mean, I'm getting bombarded with questions about it. Fuzzy Panda, you're gonna have to go update the statistics on your website because I just made another workhorse video, baby, and I'm making another one tomorrow. Everybody on this channel knows, on Friday, we make a workhorse video. But look, it's fine. These reports come out. It was only a matter of time before I was included in one. I knew that. We've seen things like this coming out more and more often. These guys clearly are short sellers. They want workhorse to go down, and there's always gonna be those people. And that's completely fine. I'm sure they have done an awful lot of research. And I'm also sure they will bring up some good points. And so I will read the entire article yet again. But anyway, my friends, very quick update. If you did watch until the end of the video, you, my friend, are a true legend and I really do appreciate you being here. If you did enjoy, could you please hit that like button, drop me a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. All of that helps me out massively. And anyway, guys, until the next video or maybe a live stream, we'll see what happens. Peace.